Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Glenn Galehood. Dr. Galehood is the founder of Mission to Heal, a nonprofit global medical missions agency that heals underserved people and trains local practitioners in the most remote and needy areas of the world. He also works as a professor of surgery at George Washington University Medical Center in Washington, D.C., and is a member of numerous medical, surgical, and international medical societies. You know, do you mind, in your own words, giving us a, a bit of your background, how you decided to pursue a career in medicine, surgery, and then what inspired you to found Mission to Heal? I actually thought all my life that I would like to do something, make some differences in other lives and how to do that through the arts or through the sciences. What is the application that would best resolve human problems? And as fascinating as physiology and uh, all the other components of medical arts are, how do you get directly to the heart and soul of a person who is in the need and, and wanting? When we look at the people around us, there are needy people on both left and right sides of you right now. So what can I do that might share that burden in some way? It turns out there are a lot of folk in the world who have not nearly the advantages we do. The people best able to take care of problems are those who bear them. So our goal is as a medical educational enterprise to get on out there and to enhance the care that's given by those who are obligated to do so. And it's not at all a one-way street. I learned from them what they know and we don't. How to take care of bigger problems in larger numbers with far fewer resources. Because in our society, never have we been able to do so much to so few who are so little satisfied with the result. You've mentored so many uh, current and future healthcare professionals. I'm wondering what your advice to them would be to meet the challenges of the COVID-19 moment and beyond. We are all learning and we are hopefully doing something to adapt not only our own responses, but also to help others. If, for example, the typical response under threat is isolation, and uh, I don't want to be contaminated by any of these other people because they're all carriers of some noxious elements. Well, so am I. And as a consequence, how can we get through this, as everyone says, together? It has to be supported. We are starting a relationship with you, and we hope to continue this and committed, if you are as well committed toward every day, taking better care of each new patient than we did the one before. That's in, true on my side as well. I will learn more from you in how to manage my patients as you are learning a bit from me. And here I thought, I was just learning and you considered me your teacher. Uh, remember, the most potent teachers are the ones who have gone through the experience and coped with it. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.